Hey guys, uh, now we are going to start chapter number 23, which is based on Gauss law. Uh, as you know, at the end of every chapter, there are two types of, two sets of uh, problems. One is under the title of questions, the other is under the title of problems. And uh, here we are going to deal with the, uh, the questions first. Uh, question number one, I'll read out. A uniform... By the way, these questions you will not find in Indian edition. Okay, they are available in the uh, international edition. Question number one, I'll read out. A surface has an area. So area is given. Let me write that here. We are given area in the vector form. A is equal to 2i plus 3j meter square what is the flux uh, of a uniform electric field through the area if the field is uh, uh, two parts are there one is electric field is given by 4i newton per coulomb and then part b is uh, electric field is given by 4k newton per coulomb okay so we are given two situations with two uniform uh, electric fields and uh, we have area given in this vector form. We had to find out flux through it. Okay, we had to find out flux through it. Now uh, we must be aware of the equation of the flux. Okay, equation of the flux. Flux, by the way, is the number of field lines crossing through some area normally crossing through some surface normally. Flux, the most general equation is integration of E dot dA, where dA is the area element. Okay, dA is the area element. If field is uniform and the surface is plane, okay, so two conditions are there. If field is uniform and surface is plane, then flux is equal to E dot A, dot product of E and A. A is the area. If field is uniform and surface is plane and field lines are crossing through the surface normally, so it's like this, if uh, we have an area like this, and field is going this way. They're crossing this area, this surface, normally, <clears throat> okay, normally. Then flux is equal. Well, in this case, what will be the angle between the direction of area and direction of uh, uh, electric field? Direction of area is always taken perpendicular to the surface. So this is the direction of area. Direction of field is the same. So angle between them is zero. Uh, cos of zero is one, so E into A. So we have three equations. First one is the general one, integration of E dot uh, dA. Second one has two conditions. Field must be uniform, area must be plane, surface must be plane. And third one is E into A, where field should be uniform, same as the uh, uh, for the second condition, uh, second case. Uh, then uh, surface must be plane. And then field lines must be crossing through the surface normally. So that angle becomes zero, cos of zero is one, E into A. So uh, field is uniform in our case, okay, field is uniform in our case and uh, we'll be using this equation phi is equal to E dot A for this. So part A, part A flux, electric flux is equal to E dot A. So we just have to perform dot product between electric field and the area. This has only X components, so 4 into 2 is 8, that's it. So 8 units, so flux in the first case is equal to 8 units. Part B, part B we have only Z component of electric field, 4 K, this is the Z, and we don't have any Z component of electric uh, 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 area component. So dot product will be simply 0, electric flux in this case is 0. This has only a Z component and this does not have any Z component. So dot product is going to be zero. So in the first case, uh, flux is going to be eight units. In the second case, flux is going to be zero. Flux is going to be zero. Okay. So, okay, fine. 